Welcome back to Neuro3, the series where we discuss important and interesting neuroscience studies in 3 minutes. Today, we will discuss a study conducted by Rowold and colleagues from 2022. Start the clock. In this fascinating paper, the authors were able to develop a method that allowed for individuals with complete sensory motor paralysis to walk again after just one day of training. In their experiment, the authors used Epidural Electrical Stimulation, or EES, which is a tool that has been shown to be successful in restoring sensory motor function among patients with spinal cord injury. This tool, which has also been shown to be effective in alleviating pain among spinal cord injury patients, works by implanting a small device over the protective coating of the spinal cord. This device produces electrical currents to the lower part of the spinal cord that was otherwise not able to communicate with the upper spinal cord due to the injury. By using this tool, patients with spinal cord injury have the potential to regain at least some of their sensory motor function, such as walking. However, despite the promising effects of this method, in the previous studies that show a restored ability to walk following epidural electrical stimulation among spinal cord injury patients, these effects have been the result of months of intense training with the patients needing to be assisted by multiple physical therapists. The goal of the authors in this paper was to help translate these isolated proofs of concept into a commonly available therapy that enables faster recovery of motor activities with limited support from other people. To achieve this, the authors of the paper were able to design an arrangement of electrodes that targeted the dorsal roots of the spinal cord to specifically target the ensemble of dorsal roots that are involved in leg and lower trunk movement. This arrangement of electrodes was combined with a software that allowed for the configuration of activity-dependent stimulation programs to be rendered in a rapid and predictable manner. The authors tested this arrangement in three participants who all showed complete sensory motor paralysis as a result of spinal cord injury. The results of this study showed that within a single day, the activity-specific stimulation programs that were used in this study were effective enough to enable the patients to not only stand and walk, but even to engage in other motor activities such as biking and swimming. While the patient's natural movements were not regained, the recovery was sufficient enough that the patients were able to perform the various motor activities for extensive periods of time. But how are these results possible? Well. The authors of the paper argued that a small number of nerve fibers in the spinal cord had survived in the patients following their spinal cord injury. However, these fibers had likely remained functionally silent due to the hypoactivity below the injury. It was not until the stimulation using EES took place that the function of these fibers were again. Stop the clock. That's it. If you like this video, consider giving us a like and subscribing to the channel. If you're interested in reading more about this paper, we have the reference in the description down below.